to thank each and every one of you for tuning in for another blessed word of God right here at Archangel Healing Temple Church. This next video that I'm uploading is just another message that we want to share with you and we pray that it ministers to your soul, that you allow God to take control and let it speak to that situation that you have been dealing with. God knows all and I believe he sent you here today to send that healing, that restoration that you've been praying about. And I pray that you allow God to send direction, healing, and confirmation. <laughs> Let's take a look. And before I get started, I know everyone looking at me like, how'd she get in here and how'd she get to come up and speak? I am natural. Like I was telling the, um, in the session we had, uh, I just hadn't gotten the curls down pat. I, I don't know the products to use. I'm still working on it, so I just rather flat iron and go. And I know the, um, uh, no, you, you don't want to tell me that, uh, the heat. You know, it's sad, I know, but you know, pray with me. <laughs> but I, had, I am natural. I've been natural all my life, so I've never had a perm. So when I was growing up, I never, uh, we didn't have all the products. You know, it wasn't, you know, big then. So now I'm trying to learn since it's big. Like, okay, what do you all use? But anyway, so um, just to let y'all know, I am natural. Just throw that out there so y'all won't be wondering where I'm coming from. But anyway, so um, I'm going to put my time up here. I won't go. Oh, all right, just making sure. But uh, so this uh, is the I'm Loving My Journey room. And um, Lou gave me the topic, I'm Loving My Journey, and I went in prayer and fasting, and the Lord dealt with me. And so I would like to take this, I'm Loving My Journey, but add on a different path. <coughs> I'm Loving My Journey on a different path. Before I get started, I'd like to pray. Lord God, we just thank you for this night. We thank you for the souls that are in the building on tonight, Lord. We thank you for the sisters that have shown up. Lord, we talked about, you know, being broken and, and all types of things, everything that we have gone through and things that we might carry around as women and, and also the men. And we just ask that you come in this place tonight. Hallelujah, Jesus. You set up on everyone, anything that they're dealing with, we ask that you send a restoration, Lord, that you heal them tonight. Hallelujah. Give them something that they have been looking for. Give them something to take back home with them, Jesus. Yeah, we're learning about hair, but Lord, let them leave out screaming, Jesus. Ooh. Oh let them leave out screaming, I love Jesus. I love my natural hair, but I love a man named Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, we ask that you come in tonight. Hallelujah. Sit with us, Lord. You put Katoya on the back burner, Lord. You speak through me. You give the words to say. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I'm loving my journey on a different path. You know, and we've all noticed, that's the reason we're here. We've all noticed the change, the movement, the, the outbreak, whatever you want to call it. You know, women are going natural all around. I mean, it's like you wake up and you see on Facebook, someone else has gone natural. And we see many people are asking, what is going on? You know, am I missing something? Uh, is it something they know that I don't know? What is this natural thing that's going on? So I did a little research. Luke talked about she loved the research. I did a little research myself, and, and I wanted to know why did everyone feel the need to go natural? Yeah. And as I've been reading, I see everybody wanted a change. People just wanted something different. They say, I want a change. And they say, I'm tired of the chemical breakage. The, 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 I'm tired of the burns. You know, they say, going through the burns with the perms. I never had it, but I've heard about it. They say, I'm tired of all this and tired of not being able to swim or go running. And, you know, I, I can't even run in the rain without my, messing up my hair. You know, say, I'm tired of that. Somebody said, well, some, I, I heard a lot of women on the, on the uh, internet talking about, I just want to have fun. I want to 
the workout without sweating out my hair. So I see they all wanted a change. They were tired of the, the split ends, the thinness, and the, the stunted growth. They said, I can my hair won't grow. I just don't know what to do with it. They all said, they all said that they want my hair, and I want my hair to be healthy. I want it to be stronger. So they say I'll get rid of this mess that has damaged my hair for so long. I found out what it is. I gotta get rid of this mess. So some are tired and they, they have even gone to the extreme. Some talk about doing the big chop. So I'm just gonna cut it off. I'm getting all of it off. You know, I, they've gone to the extremes and said they wanted something new. Yeah. No, and they say, I want a difference. Yeah. I'm sure all of you all who've gone national say, I wanted a difference. I wanted a difference. And we can all say that there is something visible. There's a visible difference in natural hair than perm hair. You know, you, you can spot a natural hair when it walks by. You don't have to go up. The first thing people will ask is, ooh, girl, how long have you been natural? You know, because there's no doubt about it that you're natural because you're different from the norm. You know, the norm of the perm hair. Everyone knows that you're natural. You stand out. It's something about you. You, you. you dare to be different. I talked about the women. I heard about the women walking with confidence. I, I'm daring to be different. This is a choice I made. And you walk around with your confidence now. You, you walk in a room and, and I say, I don't care what people think about me because I chose to be different. Somebody said, I wanted a difference. I couldn't help but feel in my spirit as I've been praying and fasting. I went to the church, um, and asked the pastor for church in that. Because I went down there, had a shut in for three days. Me and Jesus. <laughs> I just sat there and I just prayed. I told them it was Sunday night, so y'all leave me here at the church and pick them back up Wednesday night for Bible class. So I was at the church, and um, a few other people came over there when we had all night prayer and everything. Just did a shut in, and I couldn't help but feel as I was praying about this conference that God is saying the same thing. This is what he dropped in my spirit. He said the same thing, I want a difference. Uh -huh. I just kept bringing it, and he gave me the scripture, 2 Corinthians 6, 17. The uh, New Living Translation says, Therefore, come out from among unbelievers yeah. and separate yourselves from them, yeah. says the Lord. Not K. Toya, not Bishop Tutu, not Bishop so-and-so. He said, says the Lord. He said, don't touch their filthy things and I will welcome you, huh? Yeah. God is saying, if you say you are my people, we got some people saying I'm saved, I'm sanctified. He said, you say you are my people, I want a difference. He said, I want others to know who are my children. Yeah. We talked about, so many people talking about, you know, I've I, I just known the Lord. I just came to know the Lord for this many years, that many years. He said, if you're my children, I want somebody to know it. He said, when you walk in a room, I want them to ask, how long you been saved, girl? How long you been sanctified? Yes. Thank you, Jesus. He said, how long have you been holy? That should be the question. How long you be with that man named Jesus. I know it's something about you. I don't know how long have you known him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It should be a given. Just like our natural hair, it should be a given that we're walking with the Lord. That we're walking in with our company because we're married to a man named Jesus. Hallelujah. He says that if I have made you new, and why are you picking up these old habits? Hallelujah. He said, Shame 
beauty, not with broidered hair or gold or pearls or costly array. God is saying, I want a difference. Hallelujah. I put in my word and I want a difference. Before you were able to stand out with your natural hair, your everything, you had to make up your mind to trans for a transition. Say, so I want to get from one state and go to the next state. Hallelujah. Someone says, it's a journey. Hallelujah. And this theme room is loving my journey. Just on a different path. We're all loving our journey, but we're just going a little, going a little different path. I think about the journey. When I think about the children of Israel, they went on, they went on this journey. They had to just come, they had just come out of bondage and slavery and uh, horrible conditions. Hallelujah. They had to transition over to their new land. They had to move from this state and get to the next one. Hallelujah. If you want to get rid of the breakage, if you gotta travel over to your new land, hallelujah. If you gotta transition. If you want to get rid of the burn scaps, hallelujah. You gotta travel over to the new land. This is a journey, hallelujah. On their journey, there were there were some laws given to them and some commands given to them, and God was saying, Yes, you're on your own journey, but there are some things you can and can't do, hallelujah. <laughs> and I started to read, I, I was doing a, doing a little more research, and I read a whole list of things that, that you must consider when going natural. My sister, she talked about some of the things about when you're going natural. He said, you must moisturize. I've been hearing that all day. Yeah, yeah. You must wash your hair, you know, wash your makeup once a week. And, and there are some certain drying routines. It's, it's so much you got to do. It's a list of things you got to go by if you want to be on this journey. If you chose to be natural, you got to follow a few things. Yeah. And this means that you don't just go go natural and that's it. It's more to be done. Hallelujah. You have to protect your decisions. I made my decisions. I got to protect what I'm doing. So we get a little protect the styles and we read and things and some of them come product junkets. I want to make sure I'm doing this the right way. Hallelujah. So we follow a list. And I'm going to tell you, God is saying the same thing. He said, if you want to make this spiritual journey, listen to my commands. These will help you grow stronger. You got a place you need to go. He said, I got a few commands for you. He said, you left the bondage, but there are some things that you must maintain on this journey. Hallelujah. He says, research what's next. He said, study my word daily. Hallelujah. He said, you got to fast and pray sometimes. Hallelujah. Sometimes it makes going to the church for a few days. He said, man, that's all a part of the journey. He said, he said you got to study my heart. Hallelujah. If you want to know what I'm thinking, it's in the word. Hallelujah. He said, I've left you a 
together. Uh -huh. When you cry out to him, hallelujah, I think we had another song you can play softly. Uh -huh. When you're searching for God and he has freed you the first time, yes. you come out of bondage. You know, I, used to, I was one of the one in and out of jail, always fighting. But when he freed me, hallelujah, yeah. I came in with a new mind. Yeah. I had a new talk. Yeah. I had a new way of thinking. I left that old mind in the jail cell. I left it in the I left it in the club, hallelujah. I left it in the places where I knew I shouldn't have been. And I said, Lord, you freed me from it. So now that I'm a child of yours, I can't act like I We've been talking about natural hair. But one thing Lou said to me, and I thank God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Breathe, her shitty Somebody said, Lou told me, I want the sisters to come with their natural hair. She said, but would you know what I want most of all? I want souls to be saved. I want souls to God is saying that somebody in here, hallelujah, that he's been working on you, he's been trying to change you, but you say it's too hard. I keep falling, I keep flipping, I keep messing up. I know you changed, but I keep going back to my old ways. God is saying it's delivering time, hallelujah.
some messed up stuff going on. We're not going to judge you for going to the altar. We're going to clap for you because we know that it makes a big deal to say, clean me, O Lord. Renew in me a clean spirit, Father, that I have sinned against it. and you're tired of it and you want out and you say today is the day let us pray with you let us pray and ask God to remove and heal and work in that situation the scripture says that if two or three are gathered together in his name that he shall be in the midst of them let God change your situation today give us a call at 601-906 7120. If you feel like you don't want to call and you just want to mail in your request, mail it in to P.O. Box 642, Natchez, Mississippi 39121. And if you also feel that God has blessed you and he is leading you to be a blessing for the ministry and you want to sow a seed today, you may also send your blessing into P.O. Box 642, Natchez, Mississippi, 39121. And we thank you in advance for allowing God to use you in a mighty way. Until next time, be blessed and know we're praying for you. <laughs>